Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day, and today we're continuing our playthrough of The Long Dark. We're headed to the cemetery to... Oh, there it is. Is that it? That looks like the fence of a cemetery to me. Buried in the deep snow. We're headed here to place... There it is. Um, to place the, uh, the beads on Lily's grave. The ones that Grey Mother gave us. Lilith. Are these golden pearls? Or, or, no, they're not. Okay, that must have just been the light in the house when we saw them before. Those are enormous pearls. You can hear that wolf. We passed them up pretty easily in between videos. Actually, no, we didn't. In the last video, at the end of it. Passed by that wolf, no problem. That was a, an achievement for the Xbox Game Pass for PC platform. That's how I'm playing this game. Use that old pry bar, boy. Oh. Handy. Oh, snap. We found something. How about the glove box? A knife, maybe? Nothing. Nothing. Yep, nothing. Okay, let's go search the church. Nice. I like the, the snow. Kind of like the snow skirting. You know, like where the snow has blown on the trees. I'm at the base of them. Usually it's like, you know, from one direction, but it's a pass. Okay, there's some. There's a chance to fall through the water or fall through the ice into the water and get our clothes all wet. No, thank you. Oh, there's another cemetery, kind of. <laughs> this is the overflow. This is the cemetery annex. Largely cut off from the mainland. Okay. Super dark inside. I big disparity there. Uh light sources. Yeah. Three sparks. I like the noise. Like that that's what a, a lantern sounds like, I think, right? You can hear the gas kind of just coming out of the Oh. Burned out campfire. Oh, wet stone. No, wood match it, shoot. Reclaimed wood. What's that? A hymnal? Are you burning Bibles, dude? Lyrics to the hymn dies awry, I guess. I DS, I don't know. I'm not even gonna try. Let's 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 look at it. Okay, done looking. We'll take it. Item found. We just add it to our collection of items that we found that we're not able to access, I guess. Um it, you know, it's just like the uh the bank vault combination code. I never really went back and like tried to identify like, where all these things go. Like, all these notes. Because it tells you in the top right every time you pick up a note, and it seems like it's of significance. But then, I haven't really been able to find it. Anyway, pastor's note. A note to the congregation of St. Christopher's Parish. It is with a heavy heart that I inform you of the Archdiocese's decision to withdraw me from St. Christopher's Parish. Due to lack of activity. Though there have never been more than a few of you in recent years... Your dedication to the church and support of my efforts here will not be forgotten. Henceforth, services will be available via Skype only. Continued Latin lessons also. Please accept my apologies. God bless. Father Francis McGill. See up there on the top right, it says like, oh, you got something. And then I don't know where to get it. I don't know where to access it. One day I will. Like, I'll, I'll just go in there and find it. But not much here for us in the church. Cloth. Yeah, we'll take that. That's decent. Repair our clothing. It is nighttime. Campfire is burned out. Um, we've got a bed rule. We could lay down here and just rest. Uh, cause let's let's look at our. No, no, no. I've learned this one the hard way before. Put that lamp away, sir. We don't need it while we're looking at the map. Highway robber. Oh, jeez, that's way out there, isn't it? Hmm. So this is a side quest. I'm kind of, I'm considering it. I would like to do the side quests in this town. One last thing. Return. Great mother, just be happy. To, we're done with you. Come on. We're going to go do these quests. I think what we'll do is sleep here. In the morning, we'll head out this way to the bridge. And then, uh, depending on the, the amount of daylight we have left, um, we might try to head through this 
I wouldn't call it a pass. It looks to me like just an absence of mountains or, like, you know, like, we we'll be able to head through here, maybe, depending on what time of day it is. If uh, circumstances dictate otherwise, you know, like, tell us, oh, that's not a good decision. Then we'll head back to the church, and we'll sleep there again um, if we need to, depending on how long this journey takes us. And also, obviously, how cold it is, right? It's a long way out there. Maybe we'll find something along the way on this road. Like, what does this road go? It looks like it might back up to some mountains, so that would tell me that there there might be a house here. Or, you know, it's not a road that just goes off forever, like, into the next area. Probably. So, yeah, okay, we're gonna use, um, the bedroll. What is it? Um, campcraft? Yeah, bedroll. Do we need... No, we don't. We're not losing any body heat in here, so super sweet. We don't need to set a fire. Oh, why doesn't it tell us, like, what time it is? Again, Will seems like the type of person to be carrying or, like, wearing a watch. But, um, let's see. We'll eat some food here. Drink some water, eat some food. We don't have any sodas. You know, two birds with one stone kind of thing. Maybe we'll eat the dog food. It's 0.3 kilograms, 500 calories. Eat. We have the can opener. It doesn't seem to be doing anything for us, right? Like, it doesn't make opening the can faster. It doesn't give us more nutritional value from the can. I think we can uh, safely drop the can opener. Immediately. Actions. Oh, repair, harvest, scrap metal. What does it do? And until I until I find proof that we need a can opener, we're not going to keep one. And then we're going to drink some water. Space bar. Uh, food thingy. No, water thingy. Drink. Yep. Get all full up on the good stuff. And then we will camp craft here. Bed roll. Use. Oh, you gotta like have a place to deploy it? Oh, shoot. Okay, cancel. Brutal. Light source. Triple spark. Oh. <laughs> Wandered off into... Okay. We'll try to set it up somewhere here. H to put away the lantern, even... Oh, no, we could just set it down, huh? Oh, well. It's already away. I don't think we'll need it. Hopefully, we won't need it. Rotate, rotate, rotate. No? Uh, okay. Um, back to the lantern. Triple spark. Like, what? What is happening right now? <laughs> what is going on? Extinguished place. Right there. I, I guess it doesn't matter where it goes. Everything is going to be just... There we go. Oh, okay. So it does, yeah. It, it does change the lighting depending on where the light is. You can't set up the thing right there. Or in the aisle. What does it take, dude? What do you need? <sighs> okay. Um. Over here, this... If this doesn't work, then, like, I don't know how to use a bedroll. Okay, it's official. I do not know how to use a bedroll. Rotate, we'll cancel, place. Wait, wh mm, okay. Okay, okay. Calm down. <laughs> it's almost midnight. We're gonna go back to the house, I guess. Sleep. And then maybe we'll try to use... Try to use the, um... H... Oh, cloth? Can we turn the thing in? Yeah... Cloth. Four minutes and 15 calories. Yeah, at this point, I just don't care. Just do it. The car is light. Okay, never mind. I do care. Bye. Um, so what I was saying is we'll go back to the house, sleep, kind of like reverse our plan, and then from there we might... What was that? From there, we might try to uh, take the shortcut kind of back. Oh, like, you know, through the... This way. We'll go from here to there and then back around the road. Even though we can't sleep in the church. I don't get it. I had this, the same experience trying to place the snow shelter like in the second video, I think, of this playthrough. We're doing well with body heat management.
That is a wolf. It barked. It means it's coming for us. Hopefully we have enough stamina and we don't get stuck on the fence. Please go. Whoa, okay. Please hold. Okay, I, I, <laughs> I didn't do anything special uh, while I paused recording and said, please hold. I'm just thinking about this. So we can't place a bedroll in the church. There's a wolf right outside ready to gobble us up. We are, we're looking okay on all survival mechanics, including fatigue. We also have uh, some things we could do in order to stave off fatigue. Uh, we can light a fire. We can make some coffee, uh, which I think will temporarily, you know, make, it'll get rid of fatigue for a while. We also have that energy drink that we could use. Let's see. I, I think we should do that. I think we should go... We're just going to go through the night, I guess. I mean, the wolf is right outside, though, right? Where the heck's the front door? It's this way, right? Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, we have two flares. I didn't realize that. Okay. We can also use a flare to scare off the wolf, I suppose. That was a timely tooltip. Their own torches and flares have a chance to scare off wildlife. I'm not sure if the torch is helping us. I mean, the, the lantern. I'm sure. I just heard a noise, so I stopped and turned around. It sounded like a whisper, though, like the game's trying to freak us out. Okay. It's, there's the wolf. It just kind of leashed back. I wonder what the detection radius is on the wolf, because we were pretty far away, weren't we? There, There is the wolf. I'm not assuming or, like, you know, proceeding based on the assumption that there is only one wolf. What's our uh, inventory? We're good. We're good on weight. For a moment, it sounded like there were two wolves, both howling at the same time. One was close, one was far. Well, relatively close. The other one was farther away than the first one. There it is on the right side, over there, center of the screen now. New location discovered, another woodlot. I'm thinking that the crouching really helped us. Uh, I haven't really crouched at all. Cedar firewood. Haven't really crouched at all to avoid this wolf. But the first wolf, we were able to, to maneuver around it uh, while in pretty close proximity without alerting it to our presence. And so this one, we were just walking. And, I mean, it was like, I don't know, 200 feet away and it saw us, whatever that distance was. And, I mean, like, all, all the thought process um, that, that I put into the situation while we were inside of the church uh, was under the assumption that the wolf had followed us to the church door. Which is what it kind of sounded like to me. That's what I would have expected. And then we come outside and there's no wolf. So, that's just one of those things, I guess, like, where the player gets used to learning the game. Or gets used to playing the game. Learns... Oh, what the heck was that? The draw distance on the lights for the house. Look at that. See it up there? In the middle of the screen?
We're gonna go back to the house and rest, but uh, that's the end of this video. This game is called The Long Dark. Unfortunately, uh, that, that wolf kind of threw a wrench in the works, but uh, thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I do appreciate it. I release content every day, and we'll see you in the next one.